So much has changed in the 60 years that Anglia's been on air, including how to get in. Hasn't started well, has it? And over the years, we've looked at the way bringing you the news has evolved. And this technical area was, in fact, Anglia's first main foyer. And it was here on Tuesday, the 27th of October, 1959, that Sir Ivan Kirkpatrick performed the first four, and most important three, technological act of two, all. He switched one, us on. Now. Well, in a case of history repeating itself, after several different locations throughout the Anglia studios, our technical area finds itself back in almost exactly the same place. It is, and compared to those early days of film and tape where it took up the entire ground floor, it now occupies this very small desk in the centre of the newsroom. We call it traffic, and it's where all the pictures for the programme come into the building. Well, nowadays, as you can see, we have technical staff working alongside journalists, very different from the early days when you could hardly see from one side of the room to the other. Every so often there will be that hot story that will send the stills photographer scuttling for his camera and the film unit scorching off to bring back the pictures for you. Come on, Kate, we've got to scuttle and scorch to get the film back to people. And where's your team gone? Calm down, Wills. You know that we don't have teams anymore. Most of us reporters film on our own cameras. Stevie's using mine at the moment. And we film on SD cards instead of film and tape. So there's no scorching, like you say, because also I could put all my pictures into the laptop, send it from wherever I am via Wi-Fi or 4G. Simple as that. No scorching, then? No scorching. Any scuttling? Only you. Bye-bye. And it's not any time that's saved by reducing the number of layers of production to get our stories online and on the air. It's the environment as well. A million feet of film a year passes through the laboratory. Sometimes film must be flown back to Norwich. Planes have to be chartered, flight plans arranged. Well, nowadays, this is the only way that Anglia takes to the air. Sean, our fantastic drone operator. Sean, a, a terrible name for a brilliant invention. Well, it's a great little tool, really, and um, it gives us amazing perspectives of, uh, of um, buildings and locations around the Anglia region. It gives us some great coastal erosion shots, and now, of course, we can use it live, and um, that just adds a bit more to the programme. Take two. Tighten that up, Sean. Go right in. Tighter. Right in. Almost. Oh no, stop Alex, stop. No, it won't do. Well, this is the gallery in 2019. Lots more whizzy coloured buttons, digital effects, graphics, VTs. Anyway, shouldn't you be in the studio? Here we go. Good luck, everyone. You in. Well, here we are in exactly the same studio as all those years ago, where there's been a general brightening up, you could say. In the studio, the equivalent of a thousand domestic light bulbs are required for the programme. Okay. Well, today we use LEDs, or light-emitting diodes, in case you're asking, that use a fraction of the energy and they last many times longer. Robotic cameras are all around you. They've been used for many years now. The latest version, pointing at Chris over here. And Chris, weather certainly has soaked up technology over the years. Without a shadow of a doubt. You know, we've moved away from those symbols. We now use data-driven weather graphics, much more precise weather data, in fact, up to five, seven days in advance. But still, Michael did such a fantastic job all those years ago. You see the weather front moved out across well to the east of us. We of course have Weather Word Wednesday. Michael. Fruit growers who might want to gather soft fruit in the afternoon probably find conditions fairly good. All I'm saying is, Chris, you might want to work on those five a day references. That's all. Thank you very much. Thanks, Wilsey. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, some impressive technological advances in 60 years of news production here at Angley, but thankfully, one area has remained pretty much unchanged. My name is Drew Russell, and as your chief announcer here, we're going to see quite a lot of each other in the future. And hopefully, that will never no 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 ever to to change now oh, mike wilsey's hologram's gone again we'll have to dust off the real thing bring him in complete with terrible jokes soon they like the viewers will be able to relax but not for long there's another program tomorrow <laughs>